So we are back with another episode. Awesome dudes breaks down game development. Stay tuned. <laughs> I mean, what am I saying? Anyways, in this video, I want to talk about one important thing, which concerns every single beginner who starts learning game development and who started to learn game development. So let's go back from the very start and talk about that. So basically when a beginner starts learning how to create games, he starts with watching video tutorials or reading a book because you know, there is no other way to learn, either watching a video or reading a book, that's it. And every single person starts like that. And given that fact that every single person starts the same way, how come that for some people game development is hard and for others game development is not hard? Well, of course, there are a lot of factors that contribute to that thing and that cause that thing. And I've mentioned a few of them in my previous video titled The Truth About Game Development, so make sure to check that video out as well because it contains a lot of valuable information. But the number one reason why people think game development is hard in general and why beginners find it hard is because they try to learn and memorize every single aspect of game development. Now, of course, there will always be things that you will need to learn and memorize and know them like you know the back of your palm. But that's like less than 1% of the things that you will use in game development. Everything else that you will use or need, you will learn that on the go by simply Googling it or searching it online when you need a solution for that problem. So based on what I just said, this is how a roadmap should look like for a complete beginner. In the beginning, you should learn all the fundamentals, like what are variables, what are functions, what are classes, what is object-oriented programming, design principles for object-oriented programming, and the patterns that come along with it. This is essential for you to know. These are the things that you will memorize. Of course, you will learn how to use these things and combine them with your desired or chosen game engine because object oriented pro uh, blah, blah, blah. what is wrong with me <laughs> object oriented programming on its own is enough for you to create applications but for game development you need to combine that with your game engine and of course when it comes to your desired game engine you should just learn the basics of it, like how to navigate it, how to add game objects inside that game engine, how to combine the scripts with the game objects and so on and so forth. You don't need to learn every single aspect of it. Now, when you learn and master these things that I just mentioned, you will be equipped with the knowledge to basically create any game you want. And I know there will be people like, well, that is technically not true. You can just learn programming and the basics of game engine to create a game. You need to learn blah, 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 blah. And I don't care what you say, because this is where the second part comes in. Everything else that you need, you will look it up on the way. You will learn it on the go. You will not need to memorize it the same way you memorized how to use object-oriented programming and the basics of your game engine. Of course, the things you use very often and you repeatedly use them in every single project, blah, 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 project. I don't know what's with me in the pronunciation, but anyway, the things that you use in your project every single time, like, for example, spawning new game objects inside of your game or making the camera follow the player or every other single thing like using the animator to animate the character, you will use that very often. You will memorize that with usage. And this is a good thing but you, will, you don't have to memorize it the same way you try to memorize object-oriented programming and how to use the game engine. This will come with practice and the more you use it. But the things that I already mentioned, this is what you need to learn and memorize in the beginning so that you can come to this stage where you can you know, so try and to create things on your own so that you can memorize these things with usage. And this is why some people think that game development is hard and others think that it's not because those who think that it is hard, they try to learn every single thing and memorize everything and they don't try to create any project before they memorize everything. And given the fact that it's not possible to memorize every single aspect, every single thing, every single library that you have inside of a game engine that you use to create a game, they never actually create anything and in the end, People who experience this, they quit. People who figure this out, however, they take a different approach and they are the ones who actually end up learning how to code and make games. Now, one thing that I want to mention, which is very, very important, is that if you came across this, if this is you, if you find yourself in this video, 
don't blame yourself. It's not your fault because nobody is talking about these things. Like seriously, if you go online on every single channel, everybody's just, you know, putting out tutorial after tutorial, tutorial after tutorial. Nobody's talking how to actually learn the things that they put out in the tutorial and not get overwhelmed and learn that the right way. So for every beginner who is watching this video, don't bother with learning all the bits and pieces of how the code works. Focus on learning the fundamental things like what is object-oriented programming and how to use it and how to combine it with your desired game engine to create basic games. Now, coming to the important part, which is how can you actually learn to learn these other things that you need. Because as we already said, just learning object-oriented programming, how to use the game engine is not enough for you to create every aspect of your game. So how can you learn the other things that you need? It's very simple, by using Google to your advantage, by learning how to Google your problems. And this is part of being a programmer. Basically any problem that you have, you just go and search it online. You just go type it out because for any problem that you have, there is a 100% chance that another person had the same blah, 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 had the same problem and he already gave the solution to it. So you shouldn't be the one who should like reinvent the wheel when there is already a solution at hand. You can just copy and paste it or use it as an example to create and build your own solution. Also for any other feature that you want in your game, for example, how to make the camera follow the player or I don't know how to make the player shoot a projectile, just type it on Google. How to make the camera follow the player in Unreal Engine, in Unity, in Godot, in Cobalt, in whichever programming language and game engine you're using and when you repeat that many times some of these operations like as I said camera following the player animating the player maybe making him shoot and so on and so forth you will memorize these things over time and that is good but it's not necessary because you have everything you have all of that laid out online already for you and this is the reason why learning how to search online for solutions is part of being a good programmer. And don't be like other people who say like, I need to create all the code on my own, I need to type it out because if I don't type it out, I feel like I'm cheating. This is not true at all. If you think like this, you will make your life as a programmer and game developer much harder. Because no matter what you do, if you want to be an indie game developer or if you end up working in a big company, you will always lear learn, you will always use online, online resources to complement your projects. You will always use that. So that's why you need to learn how to use that to your advantage. And because of that, don't bother with learning everything in detail and memorizing everything. And when I say this, I also mean don't try to learn the built-in functions that are inside of the engine. And with this, I mean that there are some built-in features in every engine. For example, every engine has its own physics engine. And if you want to move your character, you attach a physics component on your character. Now, if you want to move it, you will use something like add force or move it with impulse or velocity or whatever. Now, where a lot of people make a mistake is that they want to know and learn how the add force function works, how it adds actually the force to your character to move it. And they want to learn how that works under the hub, how the engine does that. And this is not important at all. And you just waste time because even if you learn, if you dig below and you see how that works and you understand it, it will not help you at all, except if you want to create your own game engine. But if you already have a game idea, you want to use a certain game engine, you don't have to bother with learning the built-in features and functions of the game engine so that you can be, I don't know, quote unquote, a better programmer. So the lesson is don't overdo things. And if you didn't know this before, don't blame yourself because again, nobody is talking about this. Like seriously, go on every game development channel on YouTube and try to find a video that is similar to this one. Nobody is talking about this. Everybody's just putting out tutorials, tutorials, tutorials. Nobody's talking about how you can actually learn and not overwhelm yourself and not waste months and years of your time learning when you can take a shortcut and I don't know, learn game development in three months in six months or whatever but as I said now you know so start from the basics learn these things and again don't blame yourself and that's the reason why I create these videos on my YouTube channel and why in my game development academy I have similar things where I give advices and guidelines to my students how they can learn game development because it's also about saving time and using an easier route to actually learn 
So yeah, basically that is that. If you need help with learning how to code and make games, I have a few links in the description below. So make sure to check them out. I also, well, I also want to ask you to <laughs> like this video, share it, comment and uh, subscribe so that the algorithm will push it and other people will see it. And yeah, other than that, I don't have anything clever to say except, uh, I don't know, stay out of jail, I guess, because you will not be able to watch my videos in jail. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video.